So, um, you know what it is, peeps. It's SummerSlam week. We're going to SummerSlam weekend. Thank you for coming back to my channel on this beautiful, gorgeous, not day here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I'm excited for this. Like, 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 like. Damn, I'm excited for this one. I am, I'm really interested to see where they can take NXT from here. They're sold out in front of 13,000 people in the beautiful Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. <sighs> we have five great matches announced and a sixth squash match, which is Uwa Nation debuting. I do not know what his WWE name is. Someone told me. I already forgot it. I know him as Uwa Nation. I saw him uh, in Ring of Honor, at, well, at a Ring of Honor show, Last Philly Live, in, uh, in last summer in Philadelphia Live. Sorry, my bad. Um... And big guy and really talented in the ring. He's a former NFL player, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry about that. That's my dog, Lucky. Um, he's a former NFL player, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember for who, but he has that in-ring charisma about him. And he's really, really in-ring talented. So give the guy a chance. Right there. I think it's Apollo Crews. I think. I don't remember. Maybe it's Apollo Crews. That's what his WWE name is. But he's going to have a squash match and destroy whoever he's going to fucking face him, just as every fucking new debut does. Uh, anyways, we're going to Baron Corbin, the lone wolf, baby, versus Samoa Joe. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this because I want to see Joe kill. Joe kill or... Joe is gonna kill you. Joe is gonna kill you. Yes, he motherfucking will, Corbin. He will. He'll, he's going to take you and he's going to break you. He's going to bit you into little pieces and he's gonna squash him with his fucking feet. He's gonna, and then he's gonna fucking chop it up and he's gonna throw it out of the fucking ring. That's what he's gonna fucking do to you. Alright? He's going to dismantle you. You're not going to be shit after this because here's the thing. You know what Samoa Joe does? You know what? You wanna know what Samoa Joe does? He fucking kills people. That's what Samoa Joe does. That's what Samoa Joe is best at, alright? He don't give a fuck who you are. He don't give a fuck. He gonna fuck hit your ass and you won't fucking die. That's who he is. Anyways, moving on. So, then we have Sasha Banks. And by the way, who I think is going to win? My bad. Samoa Joe. Of course. Anyways, Sasha Banks versus Bayley for the NXT Women's Championship. I love me some Sasha Banks. Okay? I love me some Sasha Banks. I'm just saying. But I have a feeling Bayley will win. Unfortunately, people, I have this weird feeling Bailey will win because I have a feeling that Sasha Banks is actually going to be with someone from her team bad. The first, one of the first, uh, well, one half of the first, should I say, NXT Women's, not NXT, excuse me, WWE Divas Tag Team Champion. I think they're going to debut that, uh, that, that championship at Night of Champions. That's what, that's what it's looking like. I hope that they do because she's been actually not too bad. In, in the tag team divas division, I'm I'm being for real. They got some. They can bring in some more tag teams afterwards. So hey, why not? They're kind of the revolution, right? Um. Uh, so yeah, I think Bailey's gonna win this match. Do I think it's gonna be a match? Hey, yeah, hell yeah, fucking yeah. So we got Blake and Murphy and um. That chick, Alexis Bliss, who's with them. Bruh, I mean, bruh, bruh. Look at that. Look at look look look. look. Look, Blake and Murphy, I know why you're so fucking successful. I'm just saying. Um, versus the uh, vl VOD villains. English and Gotch. I love the VOD villains. They're, they're very interesting characters to me, and I pray they win this match. I, I'm sick. Look, Blake and Murphy had their run. It's time to... There's there been some tension. I've, there's been some tension. That wrong thing. Um... Time, time to split up. Time to let Bliss do her thing. You know what I'm saying? Let her do her thing. No, I mean, um, and give the VOD villains a tag team run, man. Just why not? I, I, I'd love that. Yes, I'd love to see that shit. Um, then we have. I'm really excited for this one. Just, um, I said I wanted to say Justin. <laughs> Jishin Thunder Liger versus Tyler Breeze. I just wanted to say Justin. Um, this is going to be good. This this is going to be uh, uh, an incredible professional wrestling match. And the uh, the winner of this match, I think, is going to be Tyler Breeze because I think he should be put over because I I 
I hate him so much I like him. It, that's how weird it is. Like, he is so fucking cocky and full of himself, and I just want to fucking slap him. Guess what? That means he's doing his job. Guess what? That means he's doing his job. That you hate him to a point where you actually like the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Um, I, I hope he wins because I'm I'm starting to be a very big fan of Tyler uh, of Ty of Tyler Breeze. So well, then we have the main event, the match I'm really excited about. Um, Prince Devitt, aka Finn Balor, and Kevin Steen, aka Kevin Owens, go up in a ladder match. For the NXT Championship. There's two things I want to say about this match. One thing, who I want to win. Second thing, who I think is going to win. Let's start off with the who I want to win. Kevin Owens. I think he deserves the championship. I think that he is worthy of you know, at least being a champion in NXT, if he's already here in the WWE, because if they're not going to give him any title, by the way, while on the topic, just going to throw it in there, please, WWE, introduce another mid-card title, roll it back, put it back, let's go again, um, so, Kevin Steen, in my opinion, should win this, however, he's really being pushed to the main roster, I don't know what he's going to do after this match with Cesaro, but he's really being pushed towards the main roster, and I think Finn Balor is still going to be in NXT for at least another six to nine weeks, at least, at least, and maybe they'll, they'll you know, take him out, take a, you know, take him off of TV for a few months, and then introduce him around Royal Rumble time, you know, just, you know, to kind of make it fresh, uh, that's what I think is going to happen, anyways, I don't know, um, but I think he will win, and I think, well, I know it's going to be a spectacular match. I mean, come look on Kevin Steen and Chris Devitt in a fucking ladder match for the NXT title. Woo! Um, that should go be smoking open. Um, let's get, let's, I, I, I think this pay-per-view is going to give SummerSlam a run for its money. And that, that's shaping up to be an incredible event. Tr truly a spectacle in professional sports entertainment. Uh, and I mean that when I say that, because... Trust me, the last few years, wrestling hasn't been at its best. Um, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Tell me your predictions about NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Tell me what do you want to see from the show. Are you excited for the show? Tell me all about it. Give me, give me that wrestling passion, man. Give me that wrestling passion. All right, thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.